Welcome back. It is the Flow Friday Sports Show on Flow FM. We're getting the show on the road with Caitlin Vine, the Owen United Kangas veteran, talking all things Sunrise and Netball. Caitlin Vine, lovely to be back with you. How are you? Good to be back. Good to have our head focused back on Netball after a week off. Yes, indeed. Well, uh, it was a week off. More on that later. So we'll start with a different result from last week, Ken, which saw... Redcliffs have a bit of a day to, remember, uh, to forget, rather, against Wentworth, but uh, probably didn't disgrace themselves overly as far as the final result went, but it was certainly an easy day out for Wentworth, as we called it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, 28 to 83 is, is pretty rough. Um, I know that Wentworth certainly had to change their game up because it was wet weather. I think um, every team had to really slow their game and change the way they played. It was wet, windy, and very cold. So um, it obviously didn't affect Wentworth. Um, if anything, it probably benefited them looking at that score. Um, and I, I did read an article that said that Redcliffe, yeah, were pretty pretty much just in awe of Wentworth um, and the way that they played that game. So a very disappointing loss for Redcliffe. A team showing them too much respect, Caitlin? Um, it's probably 50-50. I mean, you, you can't knock them. They work very, very hard. They're a well-oiled machine. Obviously, whatever they're doing is working. Um, but you also can't help but, you know, have that rivalry and um, that fuel, I guess, against them that you want to be able to beat them and you want to be as good as them, which, you know, I certainly think that we can. But, um, yeah, it's 50-50. Pretty close game between Mabine and South Mildura, 38-44 to South's way in the end. How'd you see that game? Yeah. I think I did pick South and South is certainly on the rise. I think this is win number five in a row for them. So they've certainly crept up the ladder um, in that last half of the first uh, leg of the season. So um, they're sitting comfortably now, I think, in the top five, which is good for South. Robinvale up against Irimple, 33-52 to 52 the final score there. So a good win for Irimple on the road. Yeah, nice for Irimple. That secures their spot as well. Um, and just unfortunate for Robinvale. They just seem to be missing that mark um, just a little bit off each week. Finally, we had Imperials against Mildura. We thought this might not be such a close game, but uh, in the end it was. 34 to 47, not that much of a big margin in this. Imperials do fall short in the end, but uh, if you're going to do it against any side, really, it's either going to be against Mildura or Wentworth these days. Yeah, absolutely. I think this score just indicates the weather. Um, Mildura, it was, as I said, raining um, and quite had they had to play slow netball, which Mildura don't like to play. They love to run on and play that really fast pace of netball, which it has obviously worked in their favour so far because they're sitting quite high on the ladder. But um, this game, they, they had to force themselves to slow down. So you can see in that score difference um, that that might have been um, a component of that, but, you know, still a good win over Imperials. Can we just focus in on that? So, stylistically, you're saying that some sides just like to go route one uh, and other sides like a slow build-up. Is that sort of where you're coming from? Yeah, I mean, it really depends on the the conditions of the day, the court, um, and your team. So, uh, some, some teams do like to play really fast netball, so... They don't, they don't pull it back and slow down at all. They just run with the pace and they keep lifting and lifting and lifting. And that works really well if you've got a team that knows each other really well, knows where the next person's going to run to. Um, but um, the bonus of that too can be sometimes that the other team tries to play as fast as you um, and then they, they produce turnovers. But it really depends who you are. I know certainly for us... Um, our A-grade team can play that really fast-paced netball when they want, but we do prefer to sort of slow it down and be a little bit more thoughtful in where we're putting the ball um, and, yeah, just take our time. So certainly Muldura, I would say, is one of the faster teams in in the league um, with that pace, whereas others do like to slow it down that little bit. Before we move on and take a look at the upcoming games in the A-grade this weekend, Caitlin, just fill us in on how everyone's feeling after the buy round there internally at the Owen United Kangas Club. Yeah, so we've had a nice break over the weekend, which was really good for us. Um, it's been a really good time to reflect now that we've played each team once. Um, I think, you know, 
Well, I could argue that the Kangas are probably in the best position that we've been since we um, came up to the Sunraysia League. We've got five out of our eight uh, teams in the in the top five, which is really really impressive. Um, I don't think that we've had that before. So you know, I think we're we're quite consistent across all of our grades, um, and even the ones that are sort of sitting lower in the ladder, they're still being competitive and having some really great wings on and off the court. So um, it's been really good to sit back and just see how far we've come so far, and hopefully um, that gives us that little bit of fuel to just really crack on in the second half of the season. So vibes are certainly high. Um, everyone's you know in really good condition, and, and we're looking forward to hitting up South Mildura next week. So no intra club games or anything like that, Caitlin. No, we we spent a lot of time in the gym, in the Owen Community Gym, which was great. Um, and yeah, just did some um, pick, just nitpicking on the little things and worked on them, rubs and you know general hard training. So it was good to do something a little bit different. Uh, and yeah, probably rest rest the knees and that off the hard courts a little bit. All right, let's look at the games taking place tomorrow across Sunraysia Netball, starting with South Mildura up against uh, your side. That'll be a hard game coming off the bye, especially. Yeah, it will be, and especially considering South has had that five wins, so they're definitely on a run, um, and it'll really mean that we need to um, come out firing. We had a really good training session Thursday, so we're feeling like we, we can do it. Um, we just need to be disciplined. So hoping to have, yeah, a couple of wins there, and that will solidify our spot. Mildura take on Mabine. Mildura will surely be too good in that one. Yeah, absolutely. Mildura will win that comfortably, I think. Wentworth up against Imperials. If it was uh, Imperials hosting the game, maybe you'd think that they are in a position where they can do some sort of damage, but uh, away to Wentworth is tricky. Yeah, definitely is tricky. There's something about those Wentworth courts. So I think it's the amount of supporters that Wentworth have that can be a little bit um, intimidating. So I think the Imperials will fall short there. Isn't that interesting? Finally, I Rimple up against Red Cliffs. Your tip there? Uh, I think I Rimple will do it. I think that they are on the run. They've got some really agile players there. And Red Cliffs just seems to be falling short. So. Robin Val Houston with the bye. That's where we'll leave it. Caitlin Vine, great to catch up again. Good luck on the weekend. Thanks for your time. Thanks so much. Go Kangas.